Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're enjoying my series on different color makeup combinations for different color saris and outfits. After the ravishing red and the bewitching black, I thought I will do a pretty pink today. And that's how I envision pink. Very subtle, very feminine, very pretty. And that's the kind of look I tried to achieve today and I hope I did. So if you want to know how I got this look, please keep on watching. For my look today, I'm going to be using the Sigma 2017 Cream de Couture Palette. First, I'm going to be using the color Apricot Flower, which is a very light peach color as my transition color. If you observe the way I'm holding the brush, I'm not holding it too close to the bristles. That's because I don't want to have too much control over the bristles. I'm holding it far away so I get less control. That way I get an airbrush finish as opposed to holding it too close and making it too patchy. I'm applying some white eyeshadow in my inner corner that's really flattering and keeps your eyes looking really bright. Next I'm taking the color Red Berry Rose which is a very pretty pink color and I'm going to focus this color mostly in the outer V and in the crease. Taking this dark brown color which is called Cafe Au Lait, I'll start defining my outer V with a flat fluffy brush. So once I'm happy with the shape that's formed in the outer V, I'll start dragging the color to the center of the lid using another blending brush. Once I'm happy with the way the brown is blended out with the white, I'm going to use the pigment right in the center of the lid and this is from Benne, it's a beautiful gold color called Aztec Gold. And then finally I'm going to blend everything out with this delicate blending brush from Wet n Wild just so there's no harsh lines left and it gives me that beautiful ombre effect. To prime and prep my face I'm using the Wet n Wild Coverall Primer. And the foundation that I'll be using today is the Smashbox Liquid Halo in number 5. To color correct my dark circles as well as conceal it, I'm using this Maybelline Dark Circle Eraser. It has a peach undertone, although it's a concealer, so it helps to color correct first as well as conceal it. To highlight the rest of my face, I'm using the Master Conceal from Maybelline. To set my face, I'm using the Giordana Forever Flawless Press Powder. I really like press powders because it gives you coverage over coverage, so it gives you more of a flawless finish. But if you're not into press powder, you can also use translucent powder or a setting powder. Uh, whatever it is, you have to use something to set your face just so your makeup doesn't budge from its place. To contour my face and give it some structure, I'm using this color fawn from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Contour Kit. And if you observe the way I'm doing it, I'm dabbing my brush. I'm not buffing it or dragging it or pulling it. When you buff your brush, that's when it takes away the makeup and your pores become more visible. But when you dab your brush, the powder fills into those pores and it gives you a finer finish. I'm adding some warmth to my face using the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. And then I'm using this blush from Sephora, it's called So Shy, just so I add a flush of color to my cheeks. Mm -hmm. 
Taking the color Apricot Flower once again, I'm going to buff this out in my lower lash line using a blending brush. Next, I'm going to take the color Cafe Au Lait and I'm going to buff it out in my lower lash line again, but closer to my waterline using a pencil brush. In my waterline, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Studio Gel Liner in black. And then I'll be taking the Sigma liner in black and I'm going to be drawing out a small wing in the top lash line. It's not going to be anything very intense because as I mentioned in the very beginning of this tutorial, I want to keep this looking very subtle, very feminine and very pretty. So nothing very intense or harsh. After a coat of mascara, I'm going to apply my falsies and the one that I'm using today is from Ardell. It's their foaming in 810. To highlight my inner corners and my brow bones, I'm using the So Hollywood Illuminator from Anastasia Beverly Hills. On my lips, I'm going to be using this light pink color lipstick from Milani. It's called Fruit Punch. And then I'm going to top it off with a beautiful lip gloss from Artistry in Pink Nude. And to finish it all up, I'm adding some mascara to my lower lashes and here is the final look. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to give me that thumbs up. And I want to learn your style too. So let me know in the comments below, what do you normally do when you wear a pink sari or outfit? Is your makeup similar to this? Is it stronger? Is it lighter? I'd love to learn from you as well. So don't forget to comment below. And I will see you again next week with a brand new video. Bye guys.